Ember Spirit. Silencer. First blood in flames. Spot rotations and Ana. If he moves close to this wave, he is dead. And there he goes. The Observer Ward reveals it. Ana too far out. Frostbite is going to be available. Only level one. TP supports on the way, but Lil holds him in perfect position. Bottom lane, Pasha. Only if you really got left here, Jurax. Lil has TP'd in as the Monkey King bouncing around. He'll pop back down again. Jurax has no way to escape from this one with the Fairy Fire for the attack damage from the tower. That'll be enough to get the kill and the BKB if you're going to try and survive this. Anna's still only level 5 to the 6 and a half. No one. They're going to try to dive here. No Tail comes in. Yeah, this time they hit the mark. It's right on top of the Silence. The Global Silence does come out, but the damage from No Tail is already there. He already got the Metamorphosis up. And this is the round. Still have Ramses getting a lot of farm on the Juggernaut. We know what Mag Jug can do. Warlock, bottom lane. Steady. Lil's gonna go for a solo kill on Fly. The Wukong's command connect, but one HP! He'll die underneath the tower. Lil committed. So it was an eight and a half minute Midas coming out in the Courier to S4, but he's being ganked up. If he loses the Courier as well, Solo's coming in, Fly is nearby. Let the Battle Bonds go. Black oh. Hole instantly cancelled. But now with the with the Searing Chains, the double spear is forward. Lil and Solo may pay the price to kill off the Enigma. Around having to watch the ward game. See how deep these wards coming from Virtus Pro. They've already got one sitting between oh, the tower. Okay, that might be one way to do it. On to Jirax, but Ember Spirit jumping forward with the double silence. Juggernaut as well as Crystal Maiden. Nothing they can do apart from burn. Ramsey's the TP out the rock. It actually connects. No way to TP out this one. Quick Omni Slash doesn't get the lucky bounce, and so Jirax will be able to escape. Juggernaut and Crystal are closer, but be careful. The Observer Ward is in range. They see Pasha and Ramsey's moving out. Oh, Lil on fly. Into the mid, he's going for the solo kill. Fly, oh no, the Wukong command will finish him off. And S4 won't get the silence, no Wukong's command. So Metamorphosis gets triggered and Terra Blade pushes to the tier 2 tower. Solo will come up. Trying to actually stop this, but then again, you've got Monkey King getting caught on the way through. Ramdis will try and be involved as well. Here goes your RP. Solo onto Anna. The Flame Guard protection. He spirit jumps forward, actually into a kill position. Taking Solo, the spirit away. The skewer will work, but the defensive spirit allows him to escape. The kick, it catches two. S4, they can go for more. Will he actually put down the hole? Not required. The kills, they're all rolling the way of OG. Two tower. This will be taken, bottom TP, coming in from the Ember Spirit. Lil, he's actually going to jump forward, but then slide a fist, dodge it quickly. The TP Spirit damage is enough. What was that? And he actually, never mind. Oh. <laughs> they just did the four-man smoke. That's actually pretty yeah, scary proposition for VP to even go for that smoke. But if they don't show the Juggernaut, I guess it's too easy for OG to figure it out. But they read it anyway. And now Ramses is in a lot oh, of trouble. It's just the wraparound starts to spin as four. Let it go. The black hole spinning him around until No Town will find the kill. But not finding it. They're going in through top lane. They're not even going to prep for, through mid. The creep wave momentum is up on top. So Monkey King has to let his stun go already. That's a 23 second cooldown without that. No extra line stuns into this fight. And the Terror Blade, he's just doing it from range. The pop in, you at least kill off the creep wave. Now the tower down to one third of his life, but no tower starts up again. Remember, he's got that Aegis Immortal, Solo moving in close. No tower doesn't mind taking the early damage. He's always got that Sunder available just to put one of the VP players into a bad position. Speaking of that, the skewer back. Anna had his own spirit, and the double kick from Jirax connects on the Juggernaut as well. There's on the Magnus into the Wukong command. There's that secondary stun. It's on the Terra Blade. Sunder used on Ramsey's. Now the Omni Slash into No Tail. They push him back with the kick. Will it be enough? Jirax will sacrifice himself for the greater Terra. That was such a big play from. And Metamorphosis back up. So they say goodbye to the Tier 3 Tower. They knew this was going to happen. OG, how much more do you want? You want VP to coming out in the Curry and out to the Juggernaut. They can't really kill on anymore. Rolling boulder, Solo's just trying to do the D-Ward, Jirax didn't actually get the perfect rolling boulder, but he still gets the kick and silence. And with a slide of fist and searing chains, Anna will oh. ground over to the secret shop and picked up a Talisman Evasion. 
I think it actually came from the Radiant Secret. Oh, okay, they found oh, Anna. Nice. Anna up in the air, He's though. Survive, Your Scepter. Oh, the stun wow. connects perfectly from Lil. All right, enough for the type of fight they want to take right now. Right, Notel's ready to engage. He's got the Talisman of Evasion, so they can have to deal with this as well as he pumps up that Metamorphosis. Feeding into the melee racks, fortification will protect it for the moment. Silencer, remember all these big oldies are up. Watch for his global silence time and the position of the Magnus around the south. He's ready to jump. Pasha needs a big one. They're not completely grouped up. Now the Wukong's command is out and he found them. He found two, dragging it back into three. It's the miracle fight right now. Reverse Pro, but no, the Thunder from Nortel. It got off in time. They at least killed off the Enigma. Nortel, no more life to really fight with. He'll end up going down minute on the sidelines and Virtus Pro are doing the work with the Magnetize. He's burning through Virtus Pro. Anna back in, needs a little bit more chip damage. Able to do it, the Agency Mortar will burn. He's got to defend his spirit. No one trying to camp it. There goes your attack, the Shockwave missing, missing from Pasha. They want that Blink Dagger to remain on cooldown. But Anna's got the Terrorblaze pushing the Creep Wave in but they get into position and they're gonna slip into the base. They want someone to come in closer and they found one. It's the Monkey King. They want to delete the King. No buyback. And he won't be back. That's Elena Rax probably. It should be. Pasha, oh, Syrian Chains, they keep him at bay. RP's available, g -Rex making sure that Pasha cannot jump in. They get the lane of Rax and now either they get out or they rotate to mid, and that's actually what Notel's doing. He's still got a lot of illusions up with Metamorphosis buff. They want to go for more. Juggernaut oh, starting to win that damage output is ridiculously huge, and the stun forward, the Searing Chains is there, Ramses will burn. He will have to buy back. They have to fight. Global Sun's available for no one, but again, Anna is keeping the VP lineup, slider fisted, and on the back lines. Solo lets the ulti go, but Notel, well, he's got more to let go. Jumping forward, there goes your rock. It connects on Pasha. He won't get the RP off, this could be it, no RP and GG, well played, under the cover of the black hole, OG will do what hasn't been done in four years of Dota 2 Valve tournaments, they will force a game five, the last time this happened was Alliance versus Navi.